Hey guys, I'm Pablo. Welcome to my channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Nana Ashanti and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you like it here. Thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe. Today the topic we're going to talk about is about natural hair. So I had a twist that failed this morning and I decided to make it into these two obnoxious cornrows. So hopefully, you know, you like it. But let's talk about the most overly high natural hair products and if they really, really work. I've been natural since April 2016 and I have a whole bin of products and I have tried a lot of things. So if you're in your natural hair journey and you want to know what works and what doesn't work, keep watching the video. Okay, so we're going to start really shortly, right? Um, nowadays, a lot of companies have noticed how much social media um, marketing works. So they get some of these Insta girls that have a really large following or people that are here on YouTube that have a really large following and they, they just, you know, thrust the products into our arms. And whether um, it's true or not, we buy it anyway because we usually associate people's personality with them their testimonials but what we don't realize is that people get paid to do stuff so whether they be telling the truth or not we the consumers have to find out so I'm gonna start with one product that has been overly hyped and we'll see if you guys agree with me so number one product that I'm gonna review is this coconut oil right hopefully you guys can see that this is the brand that I use. It's literally from Walgreens, nothing special. Coconut oil has been the most overly hyped oil in the natural hair community. Everybody claims to use coconut oil and it's the best thing since sliced bread. It is better than life itself and coconut oil, coconut oil. So this is how much I have left because like, I don't know. Um, this is how I check the temperature. You know, black girl, the more better. So <laughs> This is the thing about coconut oil, it does not work for everybody. And the whole claims about it promoting health and luster of hair, luster of hair I can agree with. It makes your hair shiny, makes it bouncy, but as actually if it helps grow your hair, I cannot attest to that fact. It is just for me, just something that, a moisturizer. That's exactly what it is. It's a moisturizer. There's nothing gray or like over the top about how much people love coconut oil i feel like it's a hype you can use this to take off your matte lipsticks very good um you can use it to take off your makeup very easy but for your hair it ha it really does nothing more than just give it shine so most definitely high product number one let's move to number two is this apple cider vinegar if you guys can see it this is the apple cider vinegar with the mother so it's like the whole organic apple cider vinegar, everything is in here. Brax is the most popular brand and if you want to use ACV, you should buy the uh, mother, not the processed kind because those are usually half sugar. This has zero calories, zero, zero, zero sodium. It's just literally pure apple cider vinegar. I have seen a lot of videos on here on YouTube where people literally use apple cider vinegar to wash their hair. Now, what I'll tell you about apple cider, it is very acidic. A lot of shampoos are neutralizers. So you washing your hair with something this acidic and especially if you have a dry scalp, you're doing more damage to your hair. Your hair is going to be very crunchy, it's going to be super dry and it's not going to look good because you keep washing your hair with this thing that is so acidic. Like people literally lose weight on apple cider vinegar. So it should tell you how, you know, what it is. For internal intake i will literally like say apple cider vinegar is good um especially if you want to smell like a salad that's good but for your hair do not just wash your hair with apple cider vinegar it is not advisable um yeah i i just don't like but i'm coming to my third one my third one actually works good when you mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar the thing is that it always has to be diluted it says on the bottle it has to be diluted do not put this thing straight in your hair it doesn't work so number three overly hyped product is the bentonite indian healing clay mask right i bought this from amazon 
a while ago this is supposed to be um, an Indian you know magical something but what it is is that I like <laughs> I've seen this since I was a little girl people eat this stuff like it comes in a really chalky form like it's like this big and it's a chalky form and a lot of pregnant people eat it because like it kind of curbs their nausea so I don't know why this is so overly hyped like it's something new it's been there forever and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of people doing clay masks but this is how it looks like you know what you can do is that you take a bit of that and then dilute a, just one part apple cider vinegar maybe the top of the um, bottle and then add one tablespoon of milk and then water and then you coat your hair what it does is strips away the build up of product especially if you're a product junkie you need to like try and cleanse your hair properly every month so if you use these two together i think it will work but this on its own is good for like your skin like it makes your skin literally you can feel it like pulsating it is so good it is so good but on its own for your hair i don't know I, i'm not sold on this on its own and i'm not sold on this on its own use them together and i think maybe the hype will be worth it okay so let's move to number four it's my good friend here blueberry bliss from the company called curls i hope you guys can see this now this product has been literally one of the most overly hyped products on social media everybody's singing it's praises and people telling me how good it is and i saw it all over the place so i spent 25 dollars a month on my hair no more than that because i do my own hair and I only need a product and I wash my hair once a week so from curl box this is what I got and when I saw this last month I was so excited I'm like wow this all really high product the company has a very good marketing strategy like as a marketing person I can say and kind of congratulate them on how far they've gotten this product because they used influencers here on YouTube and on um, Instagram to push this stuff and you cannot if you're in a natural hair community and you use hashtag natural hair you cannot escape this product it is there but this is what i'll say i got um the uh hair wash and i got the leave-in conditioner i got a hair mask i got the twist and shout and i got the jelly control and this from their blueberry this now 100 percent honesty here you guys this product does absolutely nothing for my hair I have literally used it like three times because I want to be very objective but it does not help with detangling it just it's a really fancy product and they just have a really good marketing strategy is what I can say it just really it, it's it's literally like just using just any other product there's nothing special about this product i hope i could like set something better because i was so excited but curls um your blueberry bliss i don't know it, it, it just feels like nothing it feels like something else i haven't seen any changes it's just it's just there it's just there unfortunately so this is one of the overly high products like i will not be purchasing let's move on to number five if you guys in the natural community are already familiar with this, it is the JB Co. <laughs> Leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture, right? Now, if you're anybody, you've seen this product like a million times and you have like, oh my god, I want to try this, or you have already tried this. Now, what I'll tell you about the JB Co. Um, that's Jamaican Custer Oil. Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture. They have a whole line. When I started my natural hair transition and up to the point where I cut my hair, it is really, really good. You know, this product is very hype. Shea Moisture probably spending hundreds of thousands of dollars because I hear Romney has shares in you now. But, <laughs> you know, they can't let us have anything. Leave us alone. But, <laughs> this is the thing. This product is actually really good. It is worth the hype. This and your coconut hibiscus um, line, I am totally obsessed with them. It can run you a bit of money when you purchase the whole line. But Shea Moisture products, 
for this line and the coconut hibiscus it is absolutely worth the money the hype is real believe the hype okay so i love this um shea moisture and it has shea butter in it it has peppermint and what i also love about this is the fact that it's fair trade like you guys know how much i care about my people and how much work we put in and export products into like the west and we barely get any money from it so they make their products and they say they pay fair price for it so this i can be with this i can mess with and this i can actually approve so yeah if you know of any overly hyped product please leave it in the comment section so you can help other naturalists and other people that are trying to you know re revert from well not revert but come into the natural hair community so you don't go to walgreens and purchase the whole shelf thinking that you were like you know enjoying the hype but let me know some products that you have tried and how many stars you can give it tell us what your beauty secrets are so yeah thumbs up this video subscribe thank you for watching this video and i will catch you next time take care